Okay, this is uh, part two of this uh, video segments on this uh, E300 modifications and upgrades that I've been working on. Um, by the way, this is an E300S. I believe the S stands for the ones that come with the seat. So in this one, in this video, I will be talking about the mechanical aspect of the uh, uh, the system, the way I'm uh, doing this. In the next video segment, I will discuss more on the electronics and the ele electrical uh, connections to it. So let's uh, get to the mechanical portion of this. In the first part of this uh, video segments, I talked about how I made these. These holes here to allow the cables to go through and have a much better uh, cleaner setup uh, instead of having the cables on the outside, you know, clamped with uh, tie wraps. And so I decided to um, uh, route the cables through there. So you can see when the wheel pivots, the cables also pivot along with this. Uh, this right here is just a polyethylene sleeve that goes all the way and it stops right at the bottom inside this tube here. So it provides um, better uh, protection so that the w w wires do not, or the sheathing of the cables do not fray inside the, the raw hole. This one right here, I didn't, I didn't do it, but I did file the inside of the hole really well. So there's no risk of uh, the wires fraying there. And plus they're pretty intact there. They don't, they don't move. This is where my concern was, and that's why I did this sleeve right here. Going through this tube inside, the cables follow down to this uh, hole here. There's a hole here. Uh, these are all half-inch holes. I could have drilled them a little bit wider just to make the uh, passing of these cables a lot easier. Uh, so if you're contemplating doing something similar, I would uh, go to the next size of the drill bit that I showed in my first video. Uh, I believe that's 5 5.8". Uh, you can certainly drill a 5 8 uh, on, uh, and it, it'll still be okay uh, considering the, uh, the thickness and the width of these uh, bars here of the uh, um, scooter uh, post or steering column. So the cables follow and they come in uh, through the existing uh, uh, hole via this grommet, rubber grommet that's part of this uh, uh, box here. They go inside. I did have to uh, cut the original uh, connectors that came with the uh, that came with uh, the on-off switch here and the throttle because that's the other thing. The, the other modification that I removed the original handles and uh, installed this uh, speed control here. And I really like this speed control. It's very simple. It's, it's got a three-digit uh, readout that reads uh, the voltage of the battery. And you have your throttle right here, and it's got the switch here. So the switch is uh, your on and off uh, uh, button that on the original one would be right here. So I'm not using any of this. Uh, I'm not using the circuit breaker. I'm not using the switch, and I'm not using the charger because the on off switch, like I said, is done via the key. Um, the uh, circuit breaker right here, it's uh, done via the two fuse um, fuses that come with these. Um, adapters um, so um, I didn't need to use this uh, breaker I could connect it to the breaker if I wanted uh, you know additional redundancy in, in protection you know for in case uh, uh, the, the motor starts pulling too much current and you know you you need to uh, cut off that uh, power somehow with a breaker or a fuse but this has two fuses like I said so it's plain safe these are wired in, in series. I'll discuss more about uh, this in the next video. Like I said, the electronics and the electrical connections. Uh, the mechanical... Uh, the mechanical... Seating part is, uh, is also different uh, here. Because this seat plate was moved to the back. About 5 inches, I believe. This is the distance between the front and the back. I had to drill two additional holes here on the um, bottom plate that supports the motor and I had to drill two additional holes on this plate itself you know, so they would match the holes on the first bar that supports the motor. Uh, by doing this uh, and moving the seat, reversing the seat because I wanted a little more distance from here to there 
just a little more clearance. I ended up obviously shifting the weight towards the back. Um, um, if I put the weight, if I put more with my legs, if I kind of lean forward and make sure that I, I'm leaning forward, uh, the bike runs just fine. But if I put a little too much weight on my back of the seat, um, this, when I start the motor, this will lift uh, the front end. You know, you can, you can do basically a wheelie, <laughs> but I don't want that. You know, I just want something a little more safer. So my idea is to um, uh, cut this uh, bar right here at the end where it meets this plate right here. Just cut it right there and extend this about four inches back to give me uh, a little more uh, better support. And, um, and so my uh, weight distribution is also a little more centered, you know, with the, uh, with the bike uh, um, axle to axle uh, dimensions. The axle to axle dimensions on this one is 32 uh, uh, typically. Uh, with the extra four inches, it's going to give me 36, which is going to be a nice, nice distance there. I can still uh, fit this in the, um, with um, with a bar folded down inside um, the back of my car if I wanted to say drive to a park or uh, go by the beach or somewhere. I can do that and still fit it inside my car. Uh, this one doesn't have the uh, the uh, hinge uh, mechanism here like like this other one. So I went and got a couple, two, uh, two other E300s. They were fairly inexpensive. Uh, and so both of these uh, come with these uh, hinges. So I'm going to, um, I'm going to take uh, this bar right here and pop it on this one here, or I'll just make another one, you know, using this one. And with all the modifications that I've done to this one and keep this one just for riding uh, around my house. Uh, or maybe just sell it. Uh, I have so many of these uh, scooters that, and so many parts that I've acquired uh, over the past uh, three years um, that I can uh, pretty much do whatever I, I want, you know, whatever the imagination <laughs> can think of. Um, originally, uh, with all the, the other razors that are around here, and I have a, a, a lot of these little razors, uh, 200s and 100s, was uh, that I was going to make a couple of go-karts, you know, for my... Um, uh, for my uh, grandkids uh, and and so that's why I started collecting all these other little bikes there because they lend themselves quite well to to do a little go-kart I also have this razor here that was uh, my nephew's you know he, he, didn't, he didn't use it it was a uh, it was getting rusted in in, in his uh, garage so he brought it here I fixed it so that one's a running one it's just dusty because this is a shed um, that um, it's a little dusty here, um, especially during the monsoon season when, when we have heavy winds. Uh, it tends to creep uh, through the uh, vent holes. But um, as far as uh, parts, you know, I have plenty of parts. And with these three, uh, 300s, uh, I can, um, uh, you know, I can really do some, some really cool stuff. Uh, you know, it's just a matter of uh, time and, and, and just uh, diving right in. So this one right here is already marked at the back you know where I'm going to be cutting this I'm going to dismantle this one cut it and and do the same thing uh that I talked about doing it on this one uh, here uh, so that is as far as the mechanics is concerned in the next video I will talk about the electronics and uh, some of the uh options that uh, one has you know to do this a little bit more efficient uh, this is running with DC motor obviously the DC motor is as the existing one and I'm just temporarily running this with the uh, 36 volts here, but that'll change and I'll talk about that in the next uh, video uh, segment. Uh, the seat uh, is something that I, uh, the fabric is something that my wife uh, chose. I, I, my wife has a similar one that I'm, I'm also working, I'm doing the same thing. Um, and she wanted, um, she wanted a little more cushion on, on the seat, so I went and got this uh, foam uh, padding from uh, Home Depot. They sell these pads, I think it's by... Um, um husky is the manufacturer that sells these, these uh pads for your needs so, so if you're kneeling if you're working on, on, on your garden you can buy these pads and so i cut uh these uh seat profiles from there i added that to the existing seat and i made these covers and cover them in this fabric the fabric that my wife chose uh the fabric looks nice with with a single color you know so it uh You know, kind of blends and it's not too too distractive. Um, 
I mean, I could, I would prefer black, you know, just a black uh, cover, but I decided that since I'm doing hers, I may as well do my, mine, and we had plenty of this material, so that's the reason why you see this uh, material here. Uh, even though, you know, fa uh, fa uh, flowers is not my, my thing, but, you know, just to be matchy-matchy, I did it, and just to um, be uh, more in line with her, uh, you know, what, what she likes. So, this is where I'm at with this. Stay tuned for the next video.